Hello, my name is Liz Barrett. I'm a distinguished architect at Dun & Bradstreet. My job is to work with our customers to take their data and turn it into power and make sure they get value. First is making sure we understand what they're doing with their data today. How are they using it? Are they gaining access to it? Are they using it for strategic decisions? If they are, fantastic. We help them to bring it to another level. If they're not, we really try to look at what are the root causes as to why, what we can do to support their efforts and use DNB data as a foundation for their master data programs. We do everything from you know, working with them over the phone, looking at their actual data, meeting with them on a consistent basis, looking at each of their different siloed systems and trying to pull out information from there. Um, really thinking about it from an overall enterprise-wide initiative instead of just like a piecemeal approach. A lot of times we actually bring together um, customers that you know, it, it, internally that have never even worked together before. We actually become the glue across the customer, um, not only from the data perspective, but also from an internal personnel uh, perspective. I worked with a particular company that um, uh, sold um, technology equipment. They had a, an issue with a particular part and they had to recall um, those, those particular um, products that they had sent out. The problem was they couldn't actually figure out from the time that they had uh, sold the product till they delivered the product who actually had those particular units that needed to be recalled. So that's when they decided that they needed mastering of their data. Once we actually took the data from three or four different systems, from their CRM, from their ERP, from their um, uh, asset management system and from customer service, once we connected those all together, the next time they had to have a recall of certain products, they were able to do it very efficiently and um, with an awful lot more customer satisfaction than they certainly did the very first time. What makes a customer successful? I'd say the very first thing is making sure that you have the executive sponsorship to understand how important master data is. And the next is to make sure you have a plan. You literally want to look at where you are today, set the baseline, and then make sure you set yourself up with the different steps along the way to ensure that you get to your master data solution. Um, it could be taking each of your different data silos, making sure you baseline each one of those, and then understanding how you're going to master them using DNB as a referential database, going on throughout the process of ensuring that it stays clean, additional data can um, be monitored and maintained, any changes will be added, and you'll continue along that process. I think clients like to work with me because I've worked with so many different businesses. Um, I never look at anything as if it's unmanageable. It's, it's something that can't be accomplished because I've seen it and I've been able to, to make sure things happen. Um, I also bring to them best practices across the gamut. I've worked with businesses that are nonprofits all the way to the you know, Fortune 1000, Global 500. Um, so every type of different business, you know, master data is a journey, it's not a destination. We'll have times where a business sets up their master data, they've taken a, their, their source systems, they've added a DUNS number, um, they can now connect together and they think, great, I'm done. That's actually when things actually just start because data changes so dramatically. DNB masters their data. We make five million changes to our database every single day. You know, customers have a, a microcosm of that, but that's an enormous amount of changes that are going on. If they don't continue to take that data that they've basically done a snapshot for and make sure that they've managed those changes all along the way, they're gonna literally just have that one picture and not understand the full breadth of what their business could do.